Hello, welcome to July and welcome to this new project. I mean, this project is already done. I already shot the roles, I already did the project, but I'm going to present to you this project all throughout July. I shot this project in June. I wanted to make this project because I wanted to feel more comfortable in the streets taking pictures and I wanted to get better. On this channel, I go on the streets and take some pictures. It's, it's not... It's not what I would consider proper street photography. Proper street photography, if I have to put it like on a label, it's to go outside and just take pictures for a whole day or a set of days and roll after roll and trying to grasp a little piece of reality in the city. And what I'm doing in the channel, in the episodes in which I go out and try a camera, is exactly that. I go out and try a camera. It happens to happen on the street, but... Um, but I, I wouldn't dare to call myself like a street photographer just because I go out and take pictures on the street. So that was the that was one of the reasons why I wanted to do this. I wanted to actually try and feel what um, what it feels like to go out and, and have like a street photography rampage of about a month. I purchased 35 rolls of P Max 3200, but I, I ended up deciding that I would shoot just 21 rolls. Just 21 rolls. It's a lot of rolls, but. Um, these are 36 exposure rolls and I shot um, 21 because even though the idea was to shoot 30, in reality, during all of July, I'm going to be in Chile and I'm going to be there touring with my band with Tenemos Explosivos. So I'm not going to have the time to uh, develop and scan the rolls and post them in July. So what I did was shooting the, the rolls during the first three weeks of uh, June, and then the last week of June was scanning, developing, and then just organizing everything so I can upload these videos during July. That's the goal. For this project, I use exclusively this thing. This is the Leica M3 with a 28 Summicron. The issue is that I need an external viewfinder because that's how it works. I focus with the rangefinder here and then I compose with the viewfinder up here and then I can take a picture. So that's the way it works. Now the issue is that method is really slow and there are many things that I haven't tried with this camera and I haven't tried with this setup because I haven't had the time to practice. So one of the main goals of making this project was to actually go out and practice. My idea was to learn how to uh, scale focus properly. One thing is to know how to do it and do it like okay And another thing is make this a second nature and I wanted to I wanted to have like a second nature While scale focusing so that's what I was using this lens There were some times in which I needed to shoot at f2 or f2.8 and the distance you can't really guess the distances at f2.8 or f2 because the depth of field is too shallow so I had to focus and if I'm gonna focus like that I can't focus and then move up here because this movement eats a little bit of time and I don't have time to spend like if I see something interesting it, there's gonna be a moment in which I'm focusing and then if it moves that that subject moves a little bit further or back from me uh, it's gonna be out of focus so I need to keep that subject in focus all the time and shoot and for that I need to be able to visualize how this viewfinder looks when I look through here so I look through this viewfinder, uh, through the rangefinder, and then I have to imagine, I open my eyes and I see, okay, more or less, this is my field of view. And then I take a picture and I just hope for the best. Um, that, was, that was my idea. There's an element of time involved. Like shooting 21 rolls is it's not easy. You gotta be out there and you gotta shoot every single day for 21 days and shoot 36 frames is not easy like when I was shooting 12 frames from my other project sure I was I don't know I was doing it while it was lunch time so I was working as a copyright in, in an agency in London and then I decided okay it's lunch time I'm gonna go out and shoot a roll I have one hour and a half so I could shoot a roll in one hour and a half because it's just 20, uh, 12 pictures but 36 actually usually gets like 38 pictures in a roll so 38 pictures in a row, well, that's a lot of work. It's three times the amount of work. Um, so it, it's three times the amount of time you need to be out. So every day it was at least three to four hours. That's, that's like the bare minimum. If everything went well, it was four hours. And it's four hours of walking. It's not like I'm just gonna stand in one place and wait for things to happen. There were some like corners in which more things used to happen, but even though like just staying in a corner and waiting was not the vibe like I'd rather move around and try to scout what's happening and get the vibe of the whole place so 
it's a tiresome project. There's so many images, like 36 per row, and it's gonna be like seven rolls per week. I'm not gonna show you like a video a day. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the best 30 images from uh, every week. Week one, the, the best 30 images. Week two, the best 30 images. And on week three, I just, I, 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 I added a bonus and it's gonna be like uh, 40 images and not 30. Because by the time, by the end of the project, I was, really sharp on my skills and I was like getting more shots and getting more interesting shots I think I hope you think the same but that's how I feel um, so it's gonna be more pictures at the end so that's gonna be um, the progression 30 30 40 um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this idea I, it, it took a long time it's a complex process and yeah I hope you enjoy this this is the first week of the project let's go So the beginning I was taking the shots from a little too far away. I was I was also really nervous because it, it's nerve-wracking to take pictures of strangers and I, I, I do it often, that's something I do, but I, I haven't felt comfortable doing it in New York. That was another one of the reasons why I started to make this project because in here the attitude of the people is really different from the UK or from Chile or from Mexico. This is, every city is different, but in New York everybody's like, oh my god, it's it's the mecca of street photography, it's so cool, like there's so many people, and yeah, there's a lot of characters, but at the same time, people are, like old people from here, are kind of rough. Uh, and, and, and people are, tend to be like, either super friendly or super confrontational, and those two worlds coexist all the time in here. So you never know who you're gonna find in the street, and or which attitude that person's gonna have. So. What was happening was I was unsure how close I could get. The first week, I was playing it very safe. Um, I was taking some pictures. I, I took some pictures in Coney Island. I took some pictures mostly in Times Square because that's where it's a lot. A lot of tourists are in Times Square, so it's a really safe space for me as an outsider, not a New Yorker, to take pictures of other strangers in the city. So. We're all strangers, we're all kind of, they feel like they're visiting and to have a picture taken in Times Square by somebody it sounds like okay, it's not that menacing because it's, it, everybody has cameras over there, so it's like an okay environment. The thing is, the first week, the project is just starting, so the feeling was I'm motivated at the beginning, I'm super motivated to make this happen, but at the same time, by day three, I'm no longer motivated because the reality kicks in. And the reality is by the third or fourth day you're out there, it's no longer fun. Walk around the city for five hours straight, just walking nonstop. It, it basically eats up my whole time. It ate my whole week and I was doing nothing but go out and take pictures. I had plans of reading books and doing stuff. All of that was gone. I was just outside taking pictures. So by the day four or fifth the, the fun was gone it was no longer fun it was no longer like oh it's gonna be great this is a great project um that's one thing that is really important to keep in mind when you when you make projects like this at least when i make projects like this the whole thing is to endure so i, I was enduring the experience as much as i could because I was no longer having fun while doing it and I feel like, I, I kept feeling like I'm wasting my time doing this, why am I doing this? So self-doubt kicks in by the day six or something, so by the end of the week I was like not in a very good place. I was wondering if I should stop doing this, but at the same time I, I, I had told my patrons that I was doing it and since there was more people who knew it was coming, I, I felt like I was accountable for my own actions, so I had to finish it. I, I was able to pull I'll say six good images out of a row. The other 30 were like, you know, kind of blurry, kind of not working, not well composed, or I didn't know how to operate the camera without looking through the viewfinder. So for example, something was happening, I still needed to put it on my eye and take a picture. I had I had still not controlled the act of using the camera outside of my body. That, that was for next week. So that was my experience the first week. It was, it was stressful. Uh, in a way, it was tiring, it was not really fun, but it was a challenge. One last thing that I haven't said, which was important, is that uh, I traveled to Seville for a workshop, so I shot three rolls and a half, three and a half rolls in Seville, uh, Spain. 
And I had no idea, but uh, making street photography over there is illegal. I mean, you can take pictures of people, but the idea is that you cannot recognize their face. If you recognize the face of somebody and then you profit out of that image, that's illegal in Spain. So I can't, um, for legal reasons, I'd rather not show you all those images because if at some point I want to print one of these pictures, I'm, I'm, I don't want to... I don't want you to say like, oh, that image was so good. Why, is, why, why don't you print it? Why don't you sell it? Well, because I, it's illegal. I'm, I don't have a model release for that. So that's requirement in Spain. Um, I'm not gonna do it. So that cut my, 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 my whole experience of selecting this first week because three and a half rolls were down the drain. So the, the 30 images that you see are the best images from the remaining three and a half rolls. I picked uh, three images from Seville if I'm not mistaken, uh, in which you cannot see the people. And when you can see one person, it's a funny person, it's a funny image, and like it's it's an okay situation. It's, it's not going to be like an image for like WordPress photo or anything. It's just a funny moment. So I think it works. The traveling bit put a lot of stress in the project too. Um, on top of everything that I already said, but the first week I would say was the most intense in terms of, you know, working a lot and just getting into the whole vibe of taking a roll a day and try to make it happen and then finding out I can't use the pictures from Seville and then just, I don't know, just keep going. That whole thing was was nested in this first week. So those are the images. I hope you enjoy the images. And that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week with the next uh, seven rolls. Until then, just keep shooting, guys. Thank <laughs> you.